Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Masood and uh, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I wanted to share with you guys my um, top two books which got me through my degree and I wanted to share with you guys a bonus tip which you can use whenever you sort of go out looking for any books um, to help you out with your studying. So the first book I want to talk about is The Physiotherapist's Pocketbook and it's um, uh, written by Kenyon and Kenyon. If you are a um, applicant, physiotherapy degree applicant, and you're going to the degree um, uh, sort of in the next academic year, I think the CSP have a um, sort of a deal with the book companies, El Sevier. Um, I think you actually get a free copy of it, so there's no need to worry about buying one. Um, but I just wanted to sort of, um, uh, you know, re-emphasize how much of a benefit it has been to me, um, especially as a student. So one of the main reasons I selected it is just because uh, when I'm on placement, you know, I can't remember a specific or sort of special test or anatomy. Um, I can just really just um, pop out um, if I'm with a patient and just flick through this book uh, and it will have like every single vital piece of information um, I need to know. Um, for instance, how to test a specific muscle, um, the different gradings of uh, muscle tone, um, how to assess a neurological patient, a musculoskeletal patient, a cardiorespiratory patient, things to look out for in my assessment, um, and also the meanings of those uh, findings. Um, so generally, it's very, very, very um, you know, handy as you can imagine, because um, you're probably not going to remember every single piece of information you learn at university. So having a book like this just helps tremendously whilst you're on placement. Now the next book I want to talk about is the Clinical Sports Medicine book by Peter Bruckner and Kareem Khan. Now this book isn't essential, um, however I found it to be really really helpful, especially when I was um, revising uh, and studying um, uh, musculoskeletal physiotherapy just because it's um, if you can imagine um, it's sort of like a massive encyclopedia of um, all the different conditions that you may come across during clinical practice it has sort of the um, the uh, description of the condition um, the medical management um, physio management surgical management um, and things to look out for so generally this is a book I tend to use um, outside of my study. Um, is, so in contrast to the physio pocketbook, um, that's something you can keep with you, um, you know, uh, in your pocket because it's also really, really small and mobile. So that's the great thing about it. You can carry it anywhere. You can take it anywhere. And it's really, really great um, in, when you need to sort of refresh your memory. Cool. So the bonus tip I wanted to share with you guys is whenever you go searching for any books or literature, um, well, especially books, physiotherapy books in general, I found that the El Sevier um, uh, sort of book company um, produced the best sort of quality books. And um, generally, when you go look out, for, uh, sort of look out for any books um, in physio, um, you want to look out for El Sevier, if it's if they are the people who've sort of produced the book normally i found that the quality of it is really really good and it has all the information that i need without any sort of fluff um you know talking uh you know just all that sort of um the things that you don't really need to know it just tells you all the specifics and um as a student when time is sort of scarce um that's all you can ask for really so those are my tips guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave me a, uh, please leave me a thumbs up, comment or subscribe and um, that would be amazing. Alright, take care guys. Ooh.